No, no, no. What's no. going on, guys? Welcome to Simon's World. How are we doing? Guys, meet John. This is John. I'm John. He's like one of my childhood best friends. Yeah. Actually, John, you were in my first video. Yep. Back again. What are we doing today? What are we doing today? Cleaning the carb. Yeah, so this is what, a YZ80? YZ80. 1987? 86. We're gonna clean up the carb. So yeah, let's begin. All right guys, so when you wanna remove the carb, uh, normally it's just like hose clamps and shit that really hold this thing down. Obviously, there's like the throttle cable that's gonna keep it in. We'll see how this one's hooked up. It looks like just hose clamps, huh? Mm-hmm. Make sure your fuel line's off so you don't get gas everywhere like we did. Yeah, you guys, you don't want to do that. Before, so. I've been high off gas teams in my old basement before doing that shit. Yeah. And most of these like lower displacement carbs, the throttle bodies are normally just screw off like that. There you go. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, about ready to come out. It is. Easy. Easy. Sick. All right, guys, so the carb is out. It's in John's hands. John, let's it's see what condition on this it. carb. It's not very good. I mean, carb honestly, it looks really fucking clean. I feel like inside where inside, the floats are, it's gonna be it's definitely gonna, more dirty. Be a little bit in there. We rebuilt this bike, but we didn't touch the carb at all. We just were hoping it would run. Who rebuilds a bike and then doesn't fucking touch the carb? That's a great question. John does. <laughs> you wanna hold this? <laughs> I don't know. Can hold I? It, hold it, hold it. My hands are already so greasy. Is that how you ask, John? All right, yeah, you just need like a normal ass Phillips head, and then boom, just unscrews to expose the float. Mm -hmm. Or floats. Yeah, hopefully they're set right. Uh, that could be the the reason it wasn't idling, right? Oh, it's pissing. John made it squirt. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> well, the screws fell out anyway. It looks like. Let's make sure we don't lose these. All right, four screws. Perfect. Okay. Well, so we're in. These are the floats. All right, show us the floats, John. Floats right here. You got our jets, you got our main jet right here. Right, actually, you know, explain how the carburetor works. Now, I'm not gonna act like a pro on this, because I'm not, but your carb, so it sets your fuel air mixture, right? So it's very important that these are set properly. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a smooth idle, and your bike isn't gonna run right. It won't even rev up if your shit's fucked. Yeah. So uh, basically, these floats, you look, there's a jet in there. That one right there. So this is the bottom side of the carburetor and this actually fills up with gas. Gas shoots through here. That is probably the pilot jet, if I remember correctly. And this is the main jet. When this fills up with gas, these two floats float up into the gas and they basically limit the amount of gas that can come through here. So if there's too much gas, it's not gonna run right. And if it doesn't get enough gas, it's also not gonna run right. So yeah, like, it literally has to be like dialed in perfectly. I mean, yeah. clearly it's working, but what it could be is maybe the jets are clogged. So you just take a flathead, shove it in there, take them out or gasoline gasoline is very good to clean these out uh, ironically carb cleaner that's your your best bet for uh, doing this shit hence the name so again guys it sits like this on the bottom this bottom section fills up with gas pushes this up and then basically the main jet gets pushed up into it not allowing as much gasoline to flow through but if it's down here it's all just gonna flood in so he said it was flooding right uh yeah, I think he did. Maybe this isn't working correctly, but we're gonna find out. This is what troubleshooting's all about, baby. Yes, sir. Oh, that, that holds the float on. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, guys, it's one of the jets here. If you look up into the sky, you can see straight through it. That's how you know she's cleaned out. So we take the float off, this pin just runs through. I don't um, even think these floats have to be, does this float have to be set? This might be one So what happens, hold on, move the float. This thing, so the float pushes this up and down, right? Yeah. Limiting uh, how much gas can get through. So like, if you look in there, that could have shit in it, or sometimes this isn't set with the float correctly. Mm -hmm. So this would, could be too low or too high, and it's not, not doing the right thing. You see what I'm saying though, how it like pushes it up and down in there? Yeah. Oh. Shit. Oh, dude. Wait, what was that? That was the fucking thing. <laughs> All right, guys, John's blowing into the carb, because some of these you can't really see. Just blow right through them, so. Yeah, no, everything's pretty clean. They're pretty good. Get this is Anthony. Out. We're at Anthony's house. How do you feel? I'm doing good. You feel sexy? Feel great. Feel, feel great? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're taking out the, the last jet now, just making sure it's all clear. Dude, does it really unscrew that much? John clearly has a tendency of under-screwing these. Why are we doing this on the grass? Why not, Ant? Dude, this thing is not coming out. All right, where the fuck's my hand? There it is. Oh, I can't see shit. Nice. It's good Probably to Come it. on. You guys can see through it. See that light? It's clean. All the jets are clean. clean. We're, he, Anthony's grabbing a carb cleaner right now, and we're just gonna blast everything out, make sure there's no dirt, dust, or residue in the old curb, and then she's ready to be put back on, and then it's all just tuning. I'm 
pretty good. Here, spray it to this jet. Let's put this like, hold it up to the tip. Put the jets back in, clean it up. We can get this thing idling. Dude, good. these shots are so fucking mint. Are they actually? Inside the Panther. That's what I thought the problem was. So. I mean, if it had here, anything so. in it, it's definitely clean now. If anyone's gonna clean this, get a clean sign. Looks good. One last spray. Yeah, give, give, it, give it a shoot. Shoot this too. On the inside. You know, any dirt in there can clog a jet. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it does look really good. That's not very good though. Hold it down. Sure. Yeah, we out. Need the other bit. All right, make sure you crisscross pattern so pressure's evenly applied. Seal is good. Tighten once and then snug. Which one? So you get even fitment across the board. Even fitment, nice seal. It's definitely. It was clean, but I mean that dirt. All right, guys. Carbs all fucking mint. John's putting it in right now. Just plopping it in there. There it is. Oh yeah. There we go. Like a glove. So it's like a glove. Put the hose clamp around, tighten her up. Make sure those hoses aren't fucking leaking. Yeah. John, make sure that goes in straight, cause like, see how there's that like groove on the side? That's yeah. the piece that. That notch. Out. Yeah. It has to be aligned, or else it won't. It won't go in all the way. Which way does it go in? Do you know? Look, look into the car. Feel. You'll feel it go in easy. Yeah. It'll go, it'll go deep too. Oh. Is that it? Maybe. No, it can't be. Put your finger in there. Finger, feel for it. Feel for the G spot, John. Mm -hmm. Normally, it's it should be like on the side facing yeah, us. Yeah, I think it's this one. Mm -hmm. I think it's like that. It's in the right place. Yeah, now it is. Because if it's not seated correctly, you can't adjust it. I know. I get it. So if you look though, you should be able to see it if you look to yep, this end. And it should cover like damn near ninety percent of that hole. Oh, yeah, you barely. see how much of the hole that shit covers though? That That's on, right? I love this fucking exhaust. Oh, it's so loud. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> you got it. There you go. All right. You're gonna wanna block the fucking curb since the airbox isn't on it, because it needs to have back pressure. I don't even know if, hold on, let me make sure the fuel line's on first. It's not gonna kick over until. You're not gonna do it that way. Yeah. Get on. You're gonna wanna block that though, because it's not gonna have any vacuum pressure without the airbox on. I'm gonna block it. Try it. What are you doing, Anthony? I'm just putting some fuel right into the meth injection for it. <laughs> here, you put your hand on this. Come to this side. I'd recommend doing it below the bar here. And literally just cover that as best as you can, but like leave like a small hole for air. Cause you'll feel some, you'll feel like a little bit of gasoline getting on your hand. Right. You ready? Yep. Do you feel it, John? Yeah. It's leaking. <laughs> is it? It's leaking from the hose. Oh, it's yeah. leaking pretty bad. Hose isn't on all the way. Dude, that's sick. Oh my god. Why don't we have a clutch cable, bro? Oh my god. Yeah, no, dude, you get the fucking factory airbox for that and a clutch. You're riding it tomorrow. <laughs> well, it definitely works, dude. Oh, oh yeah. my god. I mean, two strokes are pretty hard to kill, so. That thing's pretty loud, too. Oh my god. Yeah, that was rad. Oh, it yeah. fucking oh. goes, man. Oh yeah. Just need a clutch cable and an airbox, and this thing's gonna be sick. Fuck. I didn't yeah. even give it full throttle. I know. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. You weren't even revving it that high. And that thing's loud. Well, we did it. We did it. Car rebuild and what? Like a fucking 10 minute video? 10 minute, dude. That was so easy. Hopefully, we can uh, fix the rest of the bike on fucking video, but yeah. Fun time. Fun time. Very fun time. Very fun time. Okay, Dude. don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah, take it easy.